The Detroit Tigers announcers talk about how bad Tim Tebow is at hitting. And then he hits a home run. And come on guys, it's the Detroit Tigers. Your team can't hit either. Hey guys, it's Josh at 98 Know It All coming to you today to talk a little bit about Tim Tebow. Why not? So guys, just yesterday in spring training, he went out there. The, the Tigers announcers, the broadcasters were kind of talking about just how bad he is. And well, he hit a home run opposite field, deep left center. So I want to break that down for a little bit. But before we do, guys, take a minute. Just subscribe to the channel. There's a button down below. Or at the end of the video, there'll be a little icon up here with my logo. Just click on that. It'll be for subscribing. So, guys, let's jump into this right off the bat. I know that Tim Tebow is not the best baseball player. He's not. He's not the best football player. He's not. I think he has a lot of attributes physically and athletically that makes him a tremendous athlete and a great competitor. No doubt. No doubt about that. But I get it. He's not the best player all around. But with the... Tigers broadcasters sitting there and, and really talking negatively about him and not about him as a person but about him as a player it really kind of looks bad on them and I, I say this because critiquing someone is fine I have no problem he does bat 162 he's not the best but they said that the only reason the Mets even have him in their system is because he's a good guy a good clubhouse guy and nothing else and I would argue that Tebow has talent. He has potential. Do I think he'll be an all-star major leaguer? No. I'm not even sure that he'll be a major leaguer. But he has physical talent and athletic ability to be competitive in the game of baseball at a high level. I mean, just the, the obvious. Like I said, he had a home run to left center field, opposite field, and it was deep off a major league baseball pitcher. It wasn't just some minor leaguer they had up there. It was a legitimate reliever, a guy who knows how to pitch. And Tebow hit it deep left center. I mean, he almost just like flicked his wrist and sent it deep. It was a shot, really. So to say that he has no talent and he's only there because of his personality frustrates me a little bit because he does have talent. He has some abilities in his game. And so I think that's something that needs to get a little more respect because let's be honest. If an average person, if I, in my prime, let's say 23, 24 years old, went out there and tried to play minor league baseball, there's no way I'd even hit 100 at the lowest level. Even at the rookie league level, I couldn't hit 100. I mean, the only hits I would get would be ones that might just flip over the infield or, or squib through, you know, get past someone. Because let's be honest, those pitchers, even the lower levels, are talented. They know how to throw hard. They know how to spin a ball. They got good off-speed stuff. Yes, they're developing their skills, but they still got skills. They still got they know how to throw. They know how to pitch. So, so I think just to to bash him like that is is not really an effective thing. It doesn't look good as the broadcasters are saying that. It just it seems like they're just out there to be negative. Um, I know that probably wasn't their their purpose, wasn't their goal, but at the same time, it's okay to critique someone and say, hey, he only hit 162. He has a long ways to develop if he wants to remain. Uh, you know, a professional baseball player, if he continues that, he, he's not going to make it, obviously. But he has to continue working. To to use it as a critiquing tool, that's fine. That's cool. But just to say that he's only there for his personality, I, I love the fact that Tebow hit a home run right when they were, you know, talking about that and stuff like that. So I, I think that fits. So, yes, let's be honest. I've said it before. He's not the best baseball player. But I think there's other things. There are other attributes that are important. Now, I do want to say, you know, if you don't like Tebow as a baseball player, that's fine. If you don't like him as a football player, also fine. But I think that we all need to agree that Tim Tebow, as a human being, shows an enormous amount of, of compassion and love and just respect to all other human beings. He, he's a he's a, an amazing man. Let's just put it simply. He's an amazing individual who wants to make the world a better place. And we can respect that, uh, you know, whether we agree with his skills on the, the field or not. I think as a human being, we should also look at him and say, you know what, regardless of what he believes, whether you agree or disagree, I agree with him because that's my upbringing as well. You know, we can still look and say he's a good guy who wants to make life better for others. And that's, that's important. 
Now, I do will say, going on to Tebow's baseball career, he actually got uh, to be named a part of the Team Philippines for the World Baseball Classic team. I know a lot of people instantly are kind of like, well, why the Philippines? He's, a, he's an American citizen, all this. What people don't realize is that he was actually born in the Philippines. So he's actually playing for the country that he was born in. So for me, that makes complete sense. Yes, he's an American citizen. Yes, he was born a natural American citizen. Um, but the fact that he was born in another country gives him the opportunity to play for them as well. And I have no problem with that. I think it's actually kind of cool that he's going to be a part of that country, a country that means something to him being born there and his family. So I respect that all for it. Uh, and let's be honest, I've heard some people say, oh, Tebow's taking away a spot from a real baseball player. I don't think the Philippines are really jam packed with baseball players. There's no Filipinos in the Major League Baseball system. I don't think majors or minors. I could be wrong. There might be a couple, but I don't think there are. So I don't think their system is teeming with talented young athletes who are playing baseball. So he may actually end up being one of the better players on their team, uh, which obviously their team is not going to make it a long ways because although I like Tebow, he's not the best baseball player again, but it's still a cool thing for him to be a part of that to be able to go over there. You never know. He might catch fire. I mean, obviously he can hit home runs. The dude is a monster when it comes to muscles and strength. You know, he gets a hold of a ball. He's going to send it a long way. So I'm okay with it. I actually kind of like it. I'm excited to see what he does at a international level, playing against players, you know, from uh, Japan, Korea, you know, maybe even like team Israel, things like that. I want to see how he handles it, what he does. And we all know that wherever he goes, he's going to be, someone that's going to be personality wise he's going to be drawing fans in people are going to fall in love with him he's he's an awesome guy it seems like so i understand where the tigers broadcasters are coming from again you know tebow is not the best player only hit 162 in triple a but he has a chance to improve he has the ability and the physical attributes to be better and for a guy who hasn't played competitive baseball really in a decade other than the last two years of him being with the mets I mean, he went 10 years of not playing competitively. He did college football, which he was one of the best football players in college history, in my opinion. Went on to the NFL, where I think he kind of got railroaded a little bit. He could have had or should have had more opportunities. He didn't. Oh, well, I agree. He doesn't have the best throwing arm for a quarterback. But in the end, he played the highest level of football and did it fairly well. I mean, he did okay. So... He's an athlete. I don't like the fact that they were making him out to being just someone they just put on for display, just on for show, um, like some of the actors who come out for a day at spring training. He's not that. He has legitimate ability, has a chance to improve and be better. Will I think he make the major league roster? Probably. Probably not necessarily because of his skills. I do agree with that. But he's got skills. I mean, he hit an opposite field home run. Off a Major League Baseball relief pitcher, not everybody can do that. Not everybody can do that. Not even all baseball players can do that. So it's impressive. You know, it's just my thoughts. I I, I don't like the fact that people are, I don't want to say bashing him, but it seemed like they were kind of bashing him just so they could bash him, kind of jumping on the train to do that. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm defending him, agreeing with him, or what he, I am, but I think he, it's fun. He's out playing baseball. He's loving it. He's having fun. That's my dream. That's so many people's dreams to go out and just play baseball for life and have fun. So can't complain. Well, guys, I'm Josh and I and all. Thanks for checking this out. And you know, don't forget to subscribe. Once again, we got videos coming out all the time. So catch you guys later.